Three enormous mega-projects make up the futuristic smart city known as NEO. The Oxygen, a floating industrial complex with eight sides, is the first phase of the development and would act as a terminal for ships traveling across the Red Sea. The city will also feature a well-known outdoor skiing resort called Trojana in the Arabian Peninsula, where entertainment and events can be held all year long. All of these plans, nevertheless, do not compare to the Mirror Line, which was initially unveiled in January 2021. Two mirror-enclosed buildings that span more than 100 miles across a region of desert and mountains and will eventually house 9 million people. Is it the pinnacle of urban existence or just a huge science fiction fantasy? In other words, analysts, architects, and economists are unsure. Even the people working on Saudi Arabia's ambitious project to build an urban utopia, known as the Line, are unsure as to whether the project's magnitude and complexity will ever be realized. Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince, plans to construct two parallel skyscrapers that will rise 500 meters high and span 170 kilometers or 105.6 miles across desert and mountainous territory. It would be like constructing 2,000 World Trade Centers side by side, twice, to realize the mirror line idea. Building 4,000 buildings at once and in the same location seems absurd considering that only 12 skyscrapers in the world have broken the 500-meter height barrier so far. The centerpiece of the futuristic Neom site near the Gulf of Aqaba, the development's extraordinary ambition was further revealed recently when Mohammed bin Salman, the kingdom's crown prince, outlined key components of what he intends to be one of the most ambitious urban developments ever constructed. Since it was first unveiled in 2017, Neom has drawn attention for its futuristic features, like flying taxis and robot housekeepers, even as economists and architects have questioned its viability. So are Saudi Arabia capable of making it happen? Or are they merely attempting to attract global attention? Few nations can boast a transformation strategy as comprehensive as Saudi Arabia. The 500-meter high, 200-meter wide building, a car-free, carbon-neutral bubble that will claim nearly 100% sustainability and a moderate, controlled microclimate, will use artificial intelligence at its core, according to the Saudis. Environmentalists have expressed skepticism in the past about the kingdom's environmental commitments such as a promise to reach net-zero carbon emissions by 2060. What had previously been an idea that even some of the project's planners had difficulty visualizing has now been given color through multimedia presentations. The cleverly produced videos depict a megacity with hanging gardens that somewhat mimics the Death Star. In addition to having access to other benefits like outdoor skiing facilities and high-speed train with an end-to-end -end travel of 20 minutes, residents will be able to access all everyday requirements within a five-minute walk. A city of 9 million people will be housed within these parallel towers, each of which will have mirrored exteriors with only 200 meters between them. The linear metropolis will extend from the Red Sea's Gulf of Aqaba shoreline into the interior of the nation, passing over mountainous and arid terrain. There will be walkways that connect the two mirrored facades. Public parks, offices, and homes will be stacked one on top of the other in the majority of the interiors, which will be vertically constructed. In essence, their aim is to vertically stack the components of a typical metropolis on top of one another. Saudi officials claim they have no plans to lift the nation's prohibition on alcohol, despite the fact that Neom will function under its own founding law, which is currently being created. Prince Mohammed's efforts to change the kingdom from an oil-dependent economy and conservative society that he believes are unfit to propel the kingdom forwards are centered on his vision for modern living. Neom was partly envisioned as a break from tradition and the sclerosis of the preceding four decades, during which time officials reinforced a strict interpretation of Islam while upholding rigid social norms. The line is allegedly the most livable city by far, according to the de facto ruler of the kingdom, who made this claim recently. He claimed that the model he envisioned would replace the unregulated urban development and waste that had decreased the standard of living for city dwellers. All right guys, we're halfway through the video. If you're enjoying this video we'd appreciate if you would take a second to like and subscribe as it shows us that you value this content and helps us to know what videos you would like in the future. Now more on Neom and the Mirror Line. According to Prince Mohammed, the project's first phase would cost 1.2 trillion Saudi reals, or over $300 billion. It would last until 2030. He added that private investment and Neom's anticipated initial public offering in 2024 were additional potential funding sources, along with government subsidies. The mirror line, however, just makes too many promises in too little time, despite the fact that humanity has erected some enormous structures in some of the most challenging environments. Currently, Saudi Arabia has a poor track record of constructing incredible skyscrapers. For instance, the Jeddah Tower, which was intended to top the list of tallest structures in the world, is still under construction and has only grown to around one-third of its original proposed height. The mirror line is unlike anything that has ever been created but it might be contrasted with the ambitious aspirations of the Illinois from more than 60 years ago. It seemed absurd at the time to plan for a building to be a mile tall. 
Like the Illinois, the mirror line might only ever exist on paper, or in this case, in promotional videos and 3D representations. However, this time, everyone is tuned in, and almost 50 million people have already seen one of their videos. Oldfield at the University of New South Wales calculated that constructing the line would produce up to 2 billion tons of CO2, which is more than four years' worth of the UK's entire CO2 emission. When you take into account these massive construction emissions, the idea of building a carbon-neutral metropolis doesn't sound all that compelling. Additionally, critics have not been slow to draw attention to Saudi Arabia's track record on human rights and are already estimating the human cost of Saudi Arabia's ambition. There are various indigenous groups in the area that have long resided in towns and villages. Around 20,000 people, according to foreignpolicy.com, are compelled to make place for Neom. And unfortunately, it has been claimed that Saudi security agents killed at least one protester of the project by shooting him. Prince Mohammed is known to want Saudi Arabia to be as well known internationally as other nations in the region. He has reportedly told advisors and planners in private that he wants Saudi Arabia to have its own replica of the pyramids. However, several analysts have questioned if the project can ever get off the ground due to the project's extravagant nature and its numerous manifestations over the past five years. One consultant who works closely with the Saudi government stated, with little access to the site and only eight years left before residents are supposed to move in, it's a lot to take on trust. Robert Mojilnicki of the Arab Gulf States Institute in Washington told Agents France Press. The concept has mutated so much from its early conception that it's often hard to tell its direction, scaling down, scaling up, or making an aggressive shift sideways. The world's largest exporter of oil, Saudi Arabia, is aiming for a national population boom that will be essential, in Prince Mohammed's opinion, to turn the country into an economic powerhouse. That's the main purpose of building Neom, he declared. To raise the capacity of Saudi Arabia, get more citizens and more people in Saudi Arabia. And since we are doing it from nothing, why should we copy normal cities? He said that Neom may create up to 380,000 jobs in the face of a growing population and a sizable proportion of young people looking for work. According to Saudi estimates, the kingdom's population might reach 50 million by 2030, with more than half of them being foreigners. The present population of Saudi Arabia is about 35 million. For the time being, we consider the mirror line to be a concept for many lifestyles. However, in reality, the project is vastly overscaled and has a number of issues, including the aforementioned violations of human rights and its viability. For the time being, it seems to be an unachievable task, and a more practical strategy would be to incorporate some of these futuristic concepts into Saudi Arabia's current cities. Let us know in the comments what you think of the mirror line though. Will it always be a sci-fi fantasy or can it ever be built? Well guys we hope you enjoyed the video. We recommend you check out our channel as we have many many more videos on luxury and wealth related topics, including various top 10 luxury and most expensive, also billionaire lifestyles and strategies for success, plus much more. If you haven't done it already please tap that like button and hit subscribe as we really appreciate it and it helps us to bring out more content that we know you enjoy. Thank you for watching Luxury Living.